Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. We are back at the Super Potato in Nagoya. We're on the second floor. Here we have a movie card for the Saturn. And this is going to be all about Sega, Neo Geo, PC Engine. Don't forget Retro Rewire Game Tours. I'll leave a link in the description. Hit me up. In the first episode, it was all about Nintendo. And the first floor is pretty much all Nintendo at the Super uh, Potato Nagoya. A lot of great things here, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. Here we have a SCART cable that supports PlayStation, Super Famicom, Sega Saturn. And before I forget, subscribe to the channel. There's about 69% of you that have not uh, subscribed, so definitely support the channel. And while we're doing some house cleaning, Instagram, I have an Instagram account where I post exclusive things on that platform. So definitely don't miss out and follow me on there so you can get the full scope of all things retro gaming in Japan. Beautiful Model 2 with the silhouette of Sonic there, and I love this V-Saturn, especially the little details around the power and access buttons. But anyhow, let's go ahead and check out a little bit of the store. There you have it. Sega is alive and well at the Super Potato in Nagoya. A lot of great Sega products here. And remember, I'll leave pricing up to you. Now, this is definitely going to be a place that um, it's going to be triggering for some people just because of the higher prices. But the selection, the condition, sometimes that can't be touched by whether you go to stores out in the countryside or in other cities of Japan. But here we have an assortment of controllers. And I have to say, the selection here is pretty good, both for the Sega and the PC Engine. Now, I did pick up this controller here, and that was coming in at 3000 and some change. Next door, they had it for 1500 and then 1400 for at a Surugaya in Tokyo, which I also picked that one up. But definitely, I love these controllers for the PC Engine. And as you can see here, there's quite the variety. So a lot of excellent controllers here. I do like collecting a, a variety of them. And that Hori controller that I picked up is actually quite comfortable despite its compact size. And I do like the design and the color scheme that it offers. But here we are. We're going to take a quick look at the guidebooks. And some of the guidebooks here are actually reasonably priced. Some of them are going to be a little bit higher priced. But like this Wario Land coming in at 4928 Wario being one of my favorite, um, Mar or I guess, Nintendo characters. And that one was a little bit tempting, but I decided to hold off because I wanted to get something a little bit more retro, which was the Super Mario Bros. Uh, strategy guide, which they had quite a bit of, and we will take a look at those. But these, uh, these Famicom guidebooks, like this one for Babel, they're, they're all going to be a little bit more compact, and that's going to be like the big uh, giveaway, especially if you're at a book off. Just look for the little smaller ones, and um, it's usually going to be an, uh, a Famicom one. But the, the pricing is, uh, is pretty, it's not too bad actually, like 11,000 or 1,188 yen for Super Mario Bros. 3. And I believe that one covers like certain worlds and they have like different volumes. So if you get the whole set, you know, that's definitely going to climb up in price. But if you get a few, that's definitely uh, reasonable, especially because you don't really see these guidebooks all that often at a book off. But here we have another one, Super Mario Bros. 3, the original price, 400 yen. And I believe that's for World 2, if I'm not mistaken. And then here's a different one. So a lot of cool covers on these. And the, this is the kind of stuff that could, uh, that could really add um, and um, improve the game room, if you know what I mean. But 2,178 yen there. And then we have Super Mario Bros. USA for 1,958. And remember, subscribe, support the channel. Here we go. Now, I didn't actually show off the one that I purchased, but it came out, came in at uh, the guidebook came in at about 100 or 800 yen. 
and it's pretty neat. I, perhaps in the future pickups video, I'll show it off. But here we have some Wonder Swan titles. There we have Makai Mura for Wonder Swan. That's definitely one because I'm a huge uh, Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts fan, and I would definitely like to add that to the collection. But here we have a pair of Gundam Special Edition Wonder Swan units, and those are definitely pretty pricey. But that's not something that I don't know if I've ever seen those. I'm not the I'm not really too into like the the Wonder Swan. I just want that one game really. But the Swan Crystal, I hear that has, that has an improved uh, LCD screen there. But there it is. Look at that, twenty five thousand yen and twenty seven yen, uh, twenty seven thousand yen respectively. Before the pandemic, that bad boy was about six thousand yen, four thousand yen. So that one really jumped up in price. And then we have all Popeye there for the Game Gear. And yeah, a few Game Gear games here. Definitely a nice little selection. And then let's make our way into the Neo Geo offerings. And I have to say, there's some pretty good stuff in here. Like this Neo Geo AES coming in at 38,280 yen. That's definitely the lowest that I've seen in a long time. But there is going to be a little bit of a catch. Look at all these notes. And I'll help you out with the translation. Now, the one second from the left, it just says that it has a Famicom AC adapter. So there could be other issues there. But that's definitely going to be the, the cheapest that I've seen it in a long, long time for the standalone unit. Or without the box, rather. The PC Engine shuttle box, that's definitely an interesting design. Then we got some Neo Geo CDZs. That one's definitely climbing up in price. And then we have the, the top loader CD unit. And then we have RGB cables and a variety of other cables. And then the memory cards. Which the memory cards, um, I think in Surugaya you can typically find them if they have them at around like the 2,000 yen, uh, 2,500 yen mark. Occasionally you will see it a little bit um, a little bit less. And then here we have some more Wonder Swan color units. And then we have the glorious AES titles. Here we have Samurai Spirits 3. And that one is definitely one that has risen in price in the last uh, few years. Definitely, it's one of my favorite ones. And I do enjoy the story on it. Although it is a little bit... Um, I guess it's a little bit unbalanced, but still definitely worth it if you're into the Samurai Spirits uh, universe and uh, the series itself. But a lot of great titles here. And this is, again, this is not something that you're typically going to see like in a Hard Off out in the country or a Surugaya. And I think Surugaya might be better than Hard Off when it comes to, you know, hunting for Neo Geo uh, games and whatnot. But let's go ahead and keep our going... Uh, <laughs> Let's go ahead and keep things going here. We have Burning Fight here. Look at this crazy cover. And this one is coming in at 65,780 yen. And that's going to be Burning Fight there. And this is going to be a beat-em-up. And it's also on the Neo Geo Mini, so, and as well as the Switch, PS4, Xbox, and Steam. So there's definitely other ways to play these games. And then we have Real Bout Special coming in at 54,780 yen, which... I believe that's definitely um, lower than what I've seen at other locations. And then we have the Super Spy. Interesting thing about this one is there's two different covers here. And I'm not really sure what the difference is. But I, the, the one that I'm holding is the one that I would like to pick up if I was after this game. And then we have Nam 1975 coming in at 65,780 yen. Beautiful cover, that one. But yeah, a lot of great stuff there for the Neo Geo AES. And then we have Samurai Spirits 4 coming in at 60,000. I picked up a copy of this out in Akihabara at Beep. And it was almost, I want to say, like um, just shy of the 40,000 mark. But definitely happy to add that one to the collection. And then here we have the stuff behind the glass. And some of these titles are going to be a lot less expensive on the Neo Geo CD, of course. And they're all going to be available on Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4, Steam, and you could emulate them in many different ways. And here's one that I definitely want to pick up, Art of Fighting 3, 195,800 yen. Definitely going to hold off on that one. And then we have the Mega Jet there. And the box on that is actually in pretty good condition. And then here we have the Power Battles, uh, Mega Man Neo Geo Pocket Color. And then we have the Arcade Pad 6, which the D-pad on that controller is not actually... Um, it's not the best, I'll say that. If you've ever held it, it's kind of funky. And I don't think it would be a very good option for the PC Engine version of Street Fighter. I would get the Avenue Pad 6. And then we have this Regulation 7. Uh, we got a, a couple of those uh, Sega Dreamcast editions. Not really familiar with that. And then naturally, we have the Neo Geo Pocket Color next to this Dreamcast. 
I th- uh, those could actually uh, connect together and KOF 99 Dream Match was one game that was compatible with that. And then we're going to make our way into the Neo Geo CD titles. I kind of cooled things off with collecting for the Neo Geo CD and I think I pretty much got everything that I'm going to want for it. Which isn't, my collection isn't very large for it, but still I got some pretty, uh, some pretty good titles. And, you know, just seeing the stuff here, sometimes it is tempting um, to hunt for it and not necessarily get it at this location just because I hit up so many shops and I'm privy to seeing like a lot of different prices, a lot of different condition uh, of these games. Here we have uh, Gunlord. That's a great game, by the way. Highly recommended. And it is available on the Nintendo Switch. We have Gunbird 2 for the Dreamcast. Here we're just going to be uh, jumping around between Neo Geo, PC Engine, and different Sega Sega platforms, and then we have uh, Rainbow Cotton there for 59,180 yen. And then here we have Ninja Dukenden or Ninja Gaiden coming in at 18,480 yen. And then we have some Kiki Kai Kai action. And then we have Ninja Spirit 21,780 yen. That one is definitely um, marked up at this location, but that one is actually coming a little bit more uh, scarce. So if you're after that, I would definitely recommend you get on it. Be active. Get out there and hunt, whether it be online or in store. And then here we have Dai Makaimura for the super graphics. Look how beautiful that cover is. And those are coming in at about... Well, one of them's coming in at 12000 but it is missing the, the slip cover there. And then the selection of the Sega Saturn titles behind the glass, they're going to have almost all the... Almost everything. They had a, a copy of Hyper Duel there. They have Soul Star there for the Mega CD. They have um, Psychic Assassin Taromaru for 173,800 yen. And what do we have? The Hot Blooded Family coming in at 25,000. Uh, I hear great things about that beat em up. And then we have Batsugan and there's Hyper Duel. And then Final Fight Revenge for 43,780 yen. In fact, they have three copies of Hyper Duel and also Battle Garega, Dotonpachi. And then here we have some MSX titles. I don't often see these, especially in uh, in this concentrated form. There's definitely quite a bit of options. And then what do we have? This, uh, this Robo Pal for 21,000. Not really familiar with that, but let's go ahead and walk over to the opposite side of the store and we're gonna hit up the PlayStation case. A lot of good stuff here. We have some cotton action there for 16,000. If anything catches your eye, definitely feel free to pause. I try to film slow for that purpose. We have some OutRun special tours for the PS2. So it looks like they have a lot of PS2 and a lot of PS1 titles. We have Captain Commando coming in at 18,480 yen. Dungeons and Dragons for the PS3 for 11,000. And then we have Panzer Bandit, 19,580. And then look, Volume 6, Sunsoft has Gimmick. That's definitely new to me. And then we have our type there, our type final for 23,980 yen with the soundtrack. And then down below we have this cool looking orange PS4 DualShock 4 for 8,000 and some change there. Definitely a cool looking one. And then we have a PlayStation Vita here. I believe this is what, the metallic red? This is going to be a 1,000 or the OLED model. And then in the back we have the Rockman Collection, which has all the complete works 1 through 6 on the PS1 and then Rockman X7 for the PS2.
that was quite the selection of MSX2 and various other PC titles. Definitely awesome to see that. I kind of treated that more as a museum piece. Um, I don't have any of those uh, older PC and, and the like uh, consoles, and I probably um, won't be collecting for that, but definitely awesome to see that. And then here we have some more of the rare guides behind the glass. We got some R-Type Delta, some Mother, amongst other stuff. And what do we have here? We have an old Ronald McDonald, the Konami Crocodile Dundee type of game, and a pair of Athena books. We got the Sega 3D glasses, the FM sound unit for the Mark III, and then a CDX for 140,800 yen next to a couple of pretty good looking uh, game gears and then one in the box. And the, the, the machine behind the box is a monster of a machine. And that's going to be, I mean, well, not to ignore the game gear there, but... It's the Wonder Mega Mark II coming in at 76,780 yen. Beautiful, beautiful looking machine with built-in wireless functionality. We got the shuttle PC engine. Uh, what is that? PA, PI-89. I'm not really sure what that is. It could be the controller. And then various other accessories for the PC engine. And then we have a Super Graphics. Now check out this price. It's coming in at 43,780 yen in Akihabara Super Potato 54. And then on Mercari, they're as low as 28000 That's what it sold. But that could have been months ago. And then let's just change it. This is what's currently listed. 91000 in the box. And then we have another one for 130000 also in the box. And those are fairly clean. Now back to my, um, my Insta feed. 68,300 yen at the Surugaya in Akihabara in the box. And then fifty-five at Retro Game Camp. And then coming soon... I actually ended up picking one myself for about 38000 in the box, although the box that I got is a little bit into tatters. But anyhow, PC Engine LT, look at this, 272,800 yen. This thing is a thing of beauty. And, I, you know, this is like another uh, museum piece for me. Definitely don't have uh, the cash to be throwing um, at that kind, of, uh, that kind of equipment, but definitely awesome to see that, that kind of uh, that machine. And then up above, we have the CD-ROM-ROM system. What is this? 43,780 yen. We got the old school TV game 15 by Nintendo. That's like a 77 vintage. And then we have the Core Graphics 2 at 29 and some change. And 29,480 for the Core Graphics. Now, the Core Graphics 2 is definitely going to be the least, uh, the most uncommon out of all the three variants of the PC engine. Well, if you count the PC engine shuttle, I guess it's four. And the LT, it'd be five. There's so many. But out of the three standard ones, y'all know what I mean. And then down below, we got the core graphics for 19580 Now, in the future episode, we're going to see that there are definitely a lot less expensive in Nagoya itself. Then we got a core graphics 2. And then we got the original flavor here, which is, I definitely love the, the combination of the color there, that like reddish orange over the white. Here we have one coming in at 7,128 yen. That one can definitely use a cleaning. But look at look how clean these ones are. Definitely beautiful seeing that. And then we have the PC Engine Shuttle. This seems to include the controller, the cable, and the adapt the AC adapter for 32 thou. And I actually ended up picking up a PC Engine Shuttle, but I picked mine up in Akihabara, and I picked it up for 8,000 yen. And that was all. That was at all uh, Kenchan's uh, shop, an old Akiba. So there's some still some deals to be had there. You just gotta you know keep your eyes peeled, and. Uh, hit up a bunch of shops and, and look at this stack of duo R's. I used to have that many stacks in my own game room, but I ended up selling uh, most of them. Only have a duo RX at the moment, which is more than enough. Here we have the Neo Geo Pro controller and a stack of uh, Sanyo 3DOs. So cool to see all this hardware. But guys, there's definitely more to come. This is going to end the Super Potato Saga in Nagoya, but believe me, more is coming. Ciao.